This is where the end of times, the actual end of times begins. And it will begin with a very peaceful ending. What is that peaceful ending? Sahih Muslim reports from Abu Hurairah that the Prophet wasallam said, Allah will send a wind from Yemen that is softer than silk. That shall not leave anyone that has an ounce of iman in his heart except that he shall pass away. Peaceful death. Hadith is in Sahih Muslim. A wind will come from Yemen. Beautiful, fragrance, sweet. It will be gentler than silk. And when the people smell it, if they have iman, they will die a peaceful and natural death. And if they don't have iman, they're still going to be there. Jayid. Now, what do you think is going to happen when in the whole earth, nobody of iman is left? What do you think is going to happen? This is what our Prophet ﷺ said, that after this point in time, idolatry will return to the Arabs. And by Arabs, he meant the children of the Muslims. Because when you said Arab back then, you meant a Muslim as well. That, and he mentioned specific tribes. And he said the women, their bodies will be doing tawaf around the tribes of the ancient. And the people, he said, will become worse than baha'im, worse than animals. And they will copulate in public like donkeys. That's what the Prophet ﷺ said. That might happen. Now, this hadith is mentioned as pre-qiyamah and as also end of qiyamah. So Allah knows best. It appears that there will be a time where fahisha will be prevalent even before the Mahdi. And then there will be a time that will become even more prevalent before the actual trumpet is going to be blown. Now, if there are no Muslims... What will happen to the kalima? What will happen to the salah? What will happen to the Quran? What will happen to all of these? Abdullah bin Mas'ud said, A time will come, a night will come, that the entire Quran will be taken back by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The people will wake up and the mushafs will be blank. And there will be no one with the Quran in their hearts. This is a report in Musnad al-Darimi. In another version, he said to his students, make sure you read the Quran before it is taken away. The students said, oh teacher, these mushafs, how can they be taken away? And as how can it be taken away? And Ibn Mas'ud said, a night will come when the Quran will be taken away and Nobody will remain who can recite a single verse. And they will even forget La ilaha illallah. And they will speak the speech of jahiliyyah. Means they're going to talk the fahisha, vulgarity, evil stuff. And this is when Allah Azza wa Jal's statement, وَإِذَا وَقَعَ الْقَوْلُ عَلَيْهِمْ أَخْرَجْنَا لَهُمْ دَابَةً مِنَ الْأَرْضِ تُكَلِّمُهُمْ أَنَّسَ كَانُوا بِأَذِنَا يُقِنُونَ This is Surah Al-Naml verse 82. This is when this statement is going to happen. What is this statement? It, it talks about the beast. And we'll talk about the beast inshaAllah. Definitely not today. We're going to get to that inshaAllah in our next class. In another version, in another version, uh, Ibn Mas'ud said that the Qur'an will be taken away in one night, in one night. And not a single verse will be left in the qalb of any servant. And not a single mushaf will remain with the speech on it. And the people will wake up like animals. Now, it is pretty obvious, therefore, that you put the previous hadith and this one together. The day that that wind blows is the day the Qur'an will be forgotten. Not forgotten, but gone. And even those that had memorized some surahs or verses, but they weren't mu'mins, they will wake up the next day and they will remember nothing. And the physical printed mushafs, they will become empty. Nothing will be there. What will happen to the kalima? Sahih Muslim, Anas ibn Malik said, that the Prophet wasallam said, لا تقوم الساعة حتى لا يقال في الأرض الله الله 
This is in Sahih Muslim. Qiyama will not take place. Qiyama will not take place until no one says on this earth, Allah, Allah. Think about that. This is a hadith in Sahih Muslim. Qiyama will not take place until nobody says Allah is gone. When will that happen? Obviously after the wind comes. Hudayfat ibn al-Yaman said, Yudrasul Islam. Islam will be wiped away. Darasa Yudrasu here means to wipe away. Just like a garment that is continually worn is worn out until no one will know what is Siyam and what is Salah and what is Hajj and what is Sadaqah. Subhanallah. Salah is going to be gone. Sadaqah gone. Hajj gone. Everything gone. Islam will be wiped away until no one knows what anything is. And in one night, the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be wiped away as well until not a single ayah remains. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Oh,